So I know we couldn't take the chance of staying here. We grabbed what we could in duffel bags and we left. We came back that Tuesday and of course we had nothing. You know, everything was gone. In our neighborhood, over 300 homes got wet. The statistics were saying this morning over 100,000 homes have been destroyed by the floodwaters in this local area here. We had this heart, we had this desire we wanted to help, and we would just get together in the morning and pray. First it was just me and my wife, and then together as a fellowship, we came together and started praying. We saw God then just start to open up doors like this relief center, this uh, old gym that was vacant. The owner let us come in and use it for free. Some guys have, have flown out from California and New Jersey and uh, North Carolina and Virginia and from all over the place to help just trying to be faithful to do whatever it is that God would lead us to do every day and he is meeting up the the need with the resource you don't know until you actually go through it you just don't know from Calvary Chapel it's just been a tremendous help and I just thank the Lord for him now we're ready for teams to come and to help in this relief effort. We can house people and get them out on the streets working because the need is massive. But I know that our God is massive and He's able to provide. <laughs>